check in with our Brain Buzz guests to find out. Get ready to listen to the dulcet tones of Ben Pedamont from the UQ Demo Troop. Ben, welcome to Brain Buzz. Now, I'm excited because you're here to help us answer our first question, which is, Maddie. Why do you see lightning before you hear thunder? That's a really good question. So, sound is kind of weird. It needs a medium to travel through, so it has to move through air or water, or even this solid table. So, what that means is it has to abide by the speed of sound in that medium, so the speed of sound of air. Of course, light doesn't really care about that, it can go as fast as it wants, <laughs> which is a lot faster than the speed of sound. Gotcha, so that's why we see lightning before we hear the thunder. Yes. It's basically playing catch up, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So, what are these things then? Why are we holding these? So, these are tuning forks. So these are special uh, pieces of equipment that play an exact sound. So they play, each of them play a different tone we like to hear. So the way it works is that this fork, when you bang it against something, will vibrate and it vibrates the air around it, sending the sound out around it so you can put it up against your ear and hear a particular sound. Shall we try it now, ladies? Okay. Go for it. Oh. Wow. Is yours high or low? Mine's low, like really <laughs> low. What about yours, Annabelle? Uh, mine's a medium frequency. Oh, medium frequency, yeah. I like it. She's very specific, isn't she, Ben? Yes, <laughs> but these are kind of hard to hear. Yeah. So I have here a bucket. So if you'd like to hold this that way. So I can bang this tuning fork, put it up against this bucket, and project the sound towards everyone else. Oh, basically wow. like a speaker. It's basically <laughs> like a speaker. DIY, got it. But yep. that's not the only thing we can hear sound in, is it? No, you can hear sound in pretty much everything. Yeah. So long as it can move about. So you can really use anything. This bucket became the thing that was vibrating and it vibrated a lot of air. Uh, if we had water, we filled it with water, probably be hard to hear unless you put your head in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> but you could hear it then. I have here though, a really cool piece of equipment. This is called a thunder tube. Ooh. You like to hold onto that, hold it up, and shake it about like that. <laughs> so go just crazy, like Maddie. <laughs> so how is this working, Ben? So just like the bucket mm -hmm. that was vibrating when I put the tuning fork against the back of it, this vibrates all of the air inside of it uh, based on the spring on the bottom. So as you shake it about, it's a thunderous sound. And they used to use these in old movies, is yes. that right? This is how they used to make the sound of thunder in old movies. There you go, you're basically in a 1920s film there, Maddie. Yes. But let's move on to the other fun stuff on the table, hey Annabelle? Oh, I love the thunder tube, but what's this? Well this, this is a special slime that I made before. So when we touch this, very slowly, it's very thin and ooey gooey, but if we start trying to poke into it, it stays put. Do you want to have a go, guys? Get okay. in there. Feel it. What does it feel like? Gross? Oh, oh wow. my god. <laughs> it's very like easy to get stuck. And the solid Ew. at the same time. Gross. So what does this have to do with sound, Ben? I'm so, losing the connection this is amazing. here. <laughs> Sound's really hard to see. And you could make water bounce about and it's kind of cool. Yep. But because this stuff doesn't like to move very much, if we put sound through it, it starts to dance and go all weird. Well, so. let's see it. We come over here. Step back, gals, with your gooey hands. <laughs> and we turn this up. If you look inside. Oh, no way! <laughs> wow. It starts to dance about. And that's purely off sound. Just off of the sound. And the vibrations of the speakers moving? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's, that's absolutely amazing. amazing. It looks like alien little babies coming to life. Ben, thank you so much. I think we all have a better idea of how sound works, right? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, don't you go anywhere because up next, I am finding out how dolphins see underwater using.